hold a little wimple in your heart and you'll get through. Hold a little wimple in your heart, I'm telling you. If the outlook is bleak and its guidance you seek, put on your wimple hat and you'll know what to do. Hold a Just by the side of Horace Hayseeder's farm is a big 10 acre field and today it was going to be used for something very special. The big town fair was coming to Wimpole Village. Right, I'd better go and get ready. I'm on duty today, you know. It wasn't long before the empty field became a busy, bustling fairground. With the big wheel, the dodgems, the roller coaster, and of course, all the sideshows. While the twin bread snappers emptied their money box, PC Crooknabber and Bill were on duty at the fairground entrance. Uh, hello everybody. Um, have a nice day now. <laughs> it wasn't long before everybody was really having a good time. Hey, by gum lash, you'll have to hang on tight, you know. Don't be silly, Ted. This is only a slow ride. Uh, there you are, Ted. I told you this ride was nice and gentle. Oh, oh no, Ted. Oh, no. <laughs> Bye, Akilda. <laughs> You'd better stick to your milk floor from now on. If you'd better stay here, me lads. Ghost trains are a bit too scary for you, you know. There you go, boys. Just as I thought. Uh, far too scary for you. Poor old Major. Come on, let's go and find the dodgems. Well, ah. now the twins are behind the wheel, everybody better watch out. My good dear. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh. Yeah, Horace, bitch, you can't hit that bell. Okay, Dennis, just you stand back. <whistles> Harold Holson was doing quite well on the coconut shy. <whistles> One. Two. Three. Right, yo, Stamp, this is gonna be fun. Dennis and Stamp enjoyed themselves so much, they had at least three goes on the big wheel. Uh, stay there, Stamp, oh, I'm gonna get some more money for another go. But when Dennis had gone, nobody noticed poor little Stamp, and the big wheel started again. Oh no! Uh, hold on, Stamp! Hold on! Oh dear, poor little Stamp. He certainly wasn't enjoying this ride. <laughs> Never mind, Stamp. At least you've had a free go. <laughs> but all too soon, the day was nearly over. Ethel Doneida had won a giant teddy bear on the hoopla, and Harold Holsom had cleaned out the coconut shy. Just the job for his new creation, coconut milkshake. And the only problem PC Crooknabber had all day was trying to stop old Bill eating too many hot dogs. But the ones who enjoyed themselves the most were the twin bread snappers. Well, fairs are meant for children, aren't they? Get through, hold a little wimple in your heart, I'm telling you, if the outlook is bleak and its guidance you seek, put on your wimple hat and you'll know what to do.